Yo, what is going on guys? Fatal here with a special Gears of War 4 based video for you all today. So those of you who have already seen the title, you know this video is going to be based around the Gears of War 4 beta, but it will extend a little bit beyond the Gears of War 4 beta and apply to the actual game. Regarding all this information I'm about to lay down on you guys, I did get all this information from an undisclosed source that I will not reveal. This source has had access to the Gears of War 4 beta for about two weeks now and has played it multiple times. All this information I'm sharing with you guys is legit. I kind of looked at it and analyzed it myself as well and took into account what could and what could not be true and just too much stuff added up to the point where I honestly think everything here is true. Also, a lot of people who have been testing this beta, some of the information was not even revealed to them so they don't know everything themselves but this is all the information I currently know. The Gears of War 4 beta is going to have exactly one game type and it's by far the most popular game type among the Gears series since Gears of War 3, of course that being TDM. And with that being said, I'm sure some people are wondering, oh, is it 4v4 TDM like Gal UE, or is it 5v5 TDM like Gal 3? It's been confirmed via Twitter and other social media that Gears of War 4 is 5v5 again. On top of that, there's another question that's been widely asked, and that is, is Gears of War 4 going to be based around Gears of War 3 movement or Gears of War Ultimate Edition movement? So Gears of War 4 is very fast-paced, very much like Gears of War 3. Gears of War 4 is going to be a 60 FPS multiplayer game as opposed to Gears of War 3 which was a 30 FPS game. This change in FPS will undoubtedly make Gears of War 4 a much more smooth and enjoyable experience. So a bit more additional information, while bouncing you're not going to have to hit the wall like you do in UE because again this game is like Gears of War 3 and that also means wall cancels will be in this game as well. Down but not out also being reintroduced back into the game so very happy about that which also means we'll be able to take on meat shields just like we did in Gears of War 3 and more than likely do bag tags with frags. Also on top of that, being able to tag grenades to various surfaces yet again. Touching a little bit upon the Vault Kick, Vault Kick will be in the Gears of War 4 beta. It's very much like the Gears of War 3 Mantle Kick, but with a twist. You can perform an execution right after performing the Vault Kick. On top of that, if you're on cover and someone's on the opposite side of cover, you can reach over and grab the person on the other side of cover and perform a combat knife execution. Whilst there's also the opportunity for the person on the receiving end to perform a counter, from what I've been told. I really briefly just want to touch upon the aspect of maps in the Gears of War 4 beta, so we're going to have three maps to play on. These are going to be Dam, Foundation, and one other undisclosed map. So it appears we're not going to have as much variety as the Gears of War Ultimate Edition beta had, but I'm sure that has a possibility of changing when the beta goes live. Moving on to weapons, our starting weapons are going to be a Lancer as well as a Nasher shotgun. Retro Lancer and Sawed Off are not in the game. Two other weapons that are also making a return are the boom shot as well as the incendiary grenades. If you guys checked out my most recent video yesterday, you would see the proof of the boom shot in the 2016 PAX East poster. The long shot, the torque bow, as well as the drop shot are also going to be in the beta. And also, just to add a little bit of extra info here, just so you guys know, the bullet will be coming out of the barrel of each of these weapons, no longer the center of the screen, like Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Touching a little bit further upon these three weapons, Torque Bow can get headshots again just like in Gears of War 3, and for us montagers, that is awesome because that means double T-bows are possible again as well. As for the sniper getting collaterals like it did in Gears of War Judgment, my source is not sure if that's possible, so I'm not sure and I can't tell you guys it can or it can't yet. Also, moving on to the drop shot, the drop shot is pretty much exactly like a digger. You shoot it, it digs underground, resurfaces, and then attacks your opponent. It's also possible to get headshots with this weapon. I'm not sure how that works, but I'm definitely interested to see how it is done. So that is it for weapons. Moving on to some of the characters we'll have access to during this beta. On the human side, we'll be able to play as the likes of Cole, Dom, Anya, Baird, as well as Kim. My source did not disclose to me which Swarm characters we'll be able to have access to. However, Rod Ferguson did post this awesome little short video of the Swarm drone yesterday over on his Vine as well as his Twitter. It looks absolutely sick. And I'm assuming the other characters we'll have access to are the Grenadier, Sniper, as well as the Hunter. Now I would say we have access to the Imago, however I feel like the Imago is just the pre-evolutionary stage for the rest of the characters and it won't actually be a multiplayer, although I could be wrong. Finally, the last thing in this video I'm going to announce to you guys is the new ranking system. This ranking system for Gears of War 4 is very different as opposed to the ranking systems for the previous Gears. It feeds to a much more Call of Duty-esque as well as Halo style ranking. From what I've been told there are six different ranks. These ranks range from Bronze, Silver, Gold, Diamond, Onyx, as well as Challenger. Every single one of these ranks has numerical levels associated with it, so you could be a bronze rank 25 before you progress to a silver rank 1, if you guys get what I'm saying. In Halo, for example, if you're winning your matches, you rank up, so you might be a commander, and then you hit level 50, and then you achieve the next rank. 
So hopefully that makes sense to you guys, but that is what the new leveling system is going to be like in Gears of War 4. One final thing I do want to bring up to your guys' attention before I end this video is the fact that there will be a new game type revealed at PAX East 2016, which takes place from April 22nd to April 24th. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. There will be an awesome reveal. Hopefully it's an amazing new game type. I watched a couple videos, and if you guys follow Like Butter or Drew, he mentioned the idea and possibility of a bomb game type, and I personally dig that. I could see that game type being good for Gears of War 4 because it's something new. It's something we haven't had before. We've had Capture the Flag and Judgment, for those of you who don't know. We had Blitz for Ultimate Edition, so it would be pretty fitting to have a game type like that. However, I do also hope for the possibility of there being a game type that none of us have ever been exposed to, and just a game type that no other game is really touched upon. That would make Gears stand out to me, especially Gears of War 4. So that is currently all the information I can provide you guys with regarding the Gears of War 4 beta. I will have more information in the coming days, as well as the days prior to the beta release. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to put a like on it, and also leave a comment down below on what your guys' thoughts are on all the information I've provided you guys with. Thank you guys again for checking out the video and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.